Hello, retro gaming tubers, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest with me, Blue Ankylo, also known as Mystic Quest Legend, if you're from the other side of the pond, um, depending on uh, specifically what version, if you're in North America or PAL version, uh, you'll know it by a different name, I expect. Anyway, I decided I'm going to play uh, an older game that's sort of a probably the first spin-off, I think, or at least one of the early spin-offs of the Final Fantasy series. It's not one of the main ones, um, and it's kind of simplified and and a bit uh, easier than some of the other ones, or at least not as complex uh, as like Final Fantasy 4 or 6, perhaps, or even the new ones. Um, we're just going through the demo reel at the beginning, because why not? I want to chat for a minute. And you can see what the gameplay would be like, as if I was playing it. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I had a lot of fun with this when I was a kid, way, way back, even though it wasn't as hardcore as some of the other games. Uh, but it's got some pretty cool music, and uh, I don't know, I think the story's pretty pretty nice. It's, it's not a bad game, so I decided I'm going to record this series. It shouldn't be a very hard series to record, it shouldn't be very long. Um, the gameplay's... I've beaten this game probably at least half a dozen times, and so on and so forth. It should be pretty easy to do. Uh, and at the same time as I'm recording this in my timeline, I should be recording something like Skyrim and maybe some other more uh, difficult to record games, let's just say. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get to the game. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, as I was saying. Another Square game before it was even Square Enix, I believe. So, we will be making a new game. And we might as well go with Blue Anculo. I like the fact that almost all Super Nintendo games have... Both, uh... Actually, we'll just go with blue. I don't think there's gonna be enough characters for Ankyo. At least Super Nintendo era, you can get uppercase and lowercase, even if you can't put in, like, 12 character names. Heck, in Final Fantasy VI, you can only do five-letter names, I think. Alright. So we're on a mountain. It's a good start. Village is gone. What is, what is happening? Trust this old man. He will tell us what to do. Totally trustworthy fellow. Also, I have no control at the moment. Press the B button. Yeah. Easy. So, you can jump in this game. Unlike a lot of Final Fantasies, in fact, unlike all of them, you can actually jump. It's got some action elements to it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, it's a very slow animation there to drop that, that uh, mountain down. Okay, Focus Tower. Once the heart of the world. An old prophecy says, The Vile Four will steal the power and divide the world behind four doors. At that time, the night will appear. The prophecy has now come true. Four monsters have locked the doors of the Focus Tower and escaped the keys. Okay, pretty straightforward. Draining the light from the four crystals of Earth, and the world is in chaos. People are in desperate need of help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like super, super simple storyline. Okay, we get it. Blue, save the world. Yep, gotcha. But why me? <laughs> Only you could be the knight, yeah. See, there's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first battle. You can actually lose this battle if you're unlucky, but we'll see what happens. I don't think we start with any spells. No, we got no spells. Probably got no items, uh, so we might as well just attack. You'll find that I don't use the defend action very often. All right, we're off to a good start. If we missed our first attack or the behemoth got a critical, we would probably lose, but we'll see. We should be fine. And you can also see, as we do damage, the enemy sprite will change. They will look different, which is actually pretty progressive. Not a whole lot of games do that even nowadays. He is almost dead. We're doing well. <laughs> yeah, we win. Good start. Good start to this Let's Play. Three gold points. Yeah, we don't get a whole lot, or gold pieces. We don't get a whole lot of money. A true knight that could kill a behemoth. <laughs> it was more of a guess. Well... As we may learn, this old dude on a cloud is not the most dependable. Uh, yeah, just let's get to it. Where do we go? <laughs> it's up to you to find them. Well, luckily, this is a pretty linear game. So if you can't figure out where to go, you're not trying hard enough. All right. I love the little what the heck's going on animation with the arms outstretched. Very good. Who was that guy anyway? That's a good question. You should be asking yourself that. Who was that strange man? So we have an overworld, but unlike most Final Fantasies, at least in this era, you can't just walk around. You can only go from location to location, sort of zone to zone. There's no just airship travel, for instance. Like some of the newer games, sadly enough. Anyway, let's get into it. Level Forest. Oh look, there he is. He's always exactly where you will be going. 
Yeah, what should we do first? Save the Earth Crystal. Or Crystal of Earth. You know, it's one of those old four crystals, four orbs sort of deal. It's a maybe overused meme at this point, but back in the day, you know, there wasn't all that many games that had four crystals. Um, in this game, there's no random encounters either, which is kind of fun. Would you shove that boulder aside, young sir? No problem. Alright, if you want to go through the forest, find Kaylee. Kaylee's cool. And we get our first key item. So, I suppose we should take a minute to look at the thing here. Uh, options. We want the message to fast to save us a bit of time. Uh, we can either have numbers, which is far more useful, or scales, which is kind of fun. I think I'll start with numbers for all you guys that are new to the series, so you can see what's going on a little better. Once you get the hang of it, though, the scale is just fine, but, you know, numbers are good. And I think I'll leave the window color the same, just for sense of easy ease. Uh, we've got some items while we have the tree wither, and eventually we'll have spells. There's... what is it? However many spells fit in this menu. There's not a whole lot. Uh, we've got some steel armor, uh, some steel weapons, steel sword. I, unfortunately, in this version of the game, there are a couple bugs with armor, I think, specifically. But you, I'll explain them as we get to it. The game wasn't perfectly designed. Don't worry about that previous save. Nothing there. Nothing to see there, folks. Alright, might as well open this chest. Gear potions! Yay, they heal you, I believe, 25% of your health. So if we took one now, it would heal us by only 10. Yeah. They get better as you get more HP, obviously. It was kind of a waste of a cure potion, but as you'll see, they're basically valueless. That chest that we just got three cure potions from, as soon as we go back to the area, we'll have three more. Anyway, welcome to the first town. It's kind of drab and miserable. The trees are brown. The people are old and boring. Oh, I almost stabbed her. Sorry about that, lady. Okay, so monsters can drain energy. This is actually a child we're talking to. So you can assume that all the old people are actually dead, and only the young people have turned into old people. Anyway... Hello, Kaylee. There's a tree blocking the exit of level forest. The designers were very creative when they came to the name of the first forest level. Uh, she can chop down trees. Very handy. Alright, let's go do it. We'll kill some monsters and chop down trees. Oh, don't worry. She'll be perfectly fine. Don't worry, Mom. And this is also the quickest pickup line in all history. We've never met her before, as far as I know. We just showed up, said, hey, there's some trees, need some chopping, and we've got ourselves a date. Awesome. And she's also three times as strong as us. So, you know, she's, she's a strong woman. And also, we'll be meeting Mac and his Captain Cap at some point. So, Kaylee's dad will become an important figure eventually. Also, some more cure potions. As I said, we'll be able to get lots of those. And you can even hang out in her bed. Such a creeper, Blue. Such a creeper. Uh, it might be... Nah, it's probably no faster to jump than to walk. Uh, after the first episode, I may switch to using a bit of frame skipping to get around, uh, just to save some time. We'll see. Uh, strange trees! Yes, very strange. Can't do anything with the well, unfortunately. Uh, crystals, earth dungeon, need to go to the bone dungeon. Good! So even the villagers know where the crystal is, even though my hero did not. That's how dense he is, essentially. Also, pay attention that you can use your weapon on the map, on the on the screen. It will be useful for some puzzles in the future. If you're tired, have a rest. This lady is very friendly. She lets you sleep in her bed. Um, free healing. It's nice. Like I said, this game isn't particularly difficult. Uh, you shouldn't need to do any grinding at all, unless you really feel like it. Um, enemies have pretty simple strengths and weaknesses. You'll see. Uh, okay, we got some more old people who are probably young people. Oh, this is the old dude that uh, we saved from not being able to push a boulder. And we see our first puzzle. There is a chest. How will we ever get to it? Well, you can push barrels, but only if there's nothing behind them. So maybe we should look at the back of his tree stump house. This is super complicated, guys. I hope you can follow along. Jump, jump. Oh, look, a secret entrance. And these chests, always keep in mind have items. They are very good. Or spells. Same thing. Real items, not just consumables. So, now we have the cure spell. Also of note, all party members will have at least the life spell to resurrect blue if you die, as long as they've got enough magic cast. You can see underneath the white number, 
Um, that's how many times Kaylee can cast any spell from the white category. Black category will be here, and then eventually wizard. Um, all NPCs, and there'll be more than Kaylee, will have life, as well as perhaps other spells. Anyway, we've, we're the only one with cure right now. And we can take this handy shortcut out. So, good news, this town is very small, and we're nearly done it already. I believe there's someone to talk to in the top left. Yeah. So we'll have a quick chat with this old dude who did manage to jump across that log somehow, or perhaps has been trapped here since he became an old man. Yeah. So maybe as a kid he jumped across, and now he's stuck there to starve to death. Obviously, this town is not going to do well if we don't fix things. So let's try to fix things. We need to finish level forest. All right, Kaylee, show us your chopping skills. Chop that tree down. Good work, girl. Now, of course, she chopped down the one that directly leads to an enemy. As I mentioned, there's no random encounters. You have to run into enemies on the map. They don't even move, so you can just avoid them. Um, anyway, so battle. You have the ability to change to give your, your main character commands, but your partner, your, your second character, is, uh, well, at first, auto-controlled. We can change that if we want. So, she missed. Good start. And we did not enough damage to kill it in one shot. A good judge of whether or not you're on the level curve or not is if you can one-shot enemies. If you can't, you're either missing, an, an, uh, missing a weapon or uh, probably under-leveled. So, um, usually having Kaylee auto is bad because she will hit the weakest enemy um, and go first right now. So she could have probably killed an imp in one shot. Unfortunately, she targeted the wrong thing, so we took extra damage. Point is, we're going to switch her to manual control pretty quickly. So to do that, um, let's see. You can also save anywhere, which is handy. How do we do? There's a button. Ah, there we go. The Y button. So now we can just switch her to manual anywhere. Like that. So that's handy. So let's see. This battle, we'll try to do it a little bit, a little bit smarter, let's say. So we'll have Blue focus on one, and we'll have Kaylee wrap up the other two. We should take two turns instead of three, and we should take a lot less damage, essentially. So, hopefully he doesn't kill me. That was a little bit close. And maybe we'll get a level up if we're lucky, and that'll, I think, give us a full heal. Or at least some healing. Alright, yeah, level up. Good news. No healing. Well, although we didn't heal, we actually get double the effectiveness of our cure potions. So that's pretty good. I don't really care about using cure potions. We'll get tons of them. You can buy them sometimes, but finding them is not a big deal. So uh, let's just wrap these. Let's just murder some more enemies. I'd like to be at level 3 by the end of this uh, area, if possible. Oh, and even better, blue can now one-shot slimes, which is important. It helps a lot. Um, I tend to save the spell cure for emergencies, because it does... A lot more than 25% of your life for pretty much the whole game. So if you're really in a tough battle, you'll want to use the cure spell rather than a cure potion. If that makes sense. You can also multi-target your cure spell, so you can heal both characters. Now, if I remember correctly, the um, red cap dudes, they have more HP than the slimes. So I don't know if blue would be able to one-shot them yet. We'll find out probably this turn. Nope, never mind. Kaylee's still faster than blue. There we go, level 3. So we're pretty much good to go now. Cure Potion. So now Blue is approximately on par with Kaylee. Unfortunately, in this game, the stats don't always work. I think there's some bugs. Uh, I can't remember exactly. Also, apparently, according to this, Kaylee has Fire Element on her weapon. Um, because the axe? I don't know why. Maybe it's just an inherent she gets the Fire Element. Um, or maybe it's one of the armor she's got that gives it to her. I can't remember exactly. You can also see the axe is more powerful than the sword. Um, she should be immune to muting because of the ring, as well as resisting water and earth damage from the Relica armor. I do not believe that those actually work, because you can't even see them on the special defense screen. That's some of the bugs or stuff like that. Anyway, you can also see her stats are pretty much better than us for attack and defense. So anyway, not that we we're going to spend a whole lot of time looking at the status screen. It's kind of interesting information, sort of. So we'll kill maybe one more slime, and then we'll finish this level up in no time. So um, we'll just... I, I would like to test if Blue can kill a, a red cap in one hit now. I think he can. Well, let's find out. 
Would have been better if Kaylee had not missed, but uh, oh well. Let's test it out. Worst case, we take a little bit extra damage. Nah, we're good. So, we're pretty much powerful at this point. Being able to kill anything in one hit means we are ready to go, as far as I'm concerned. Now, you may be thinking, what's that red tree up there that's glowing? Well, you'd be correct. That's the problem. <laughs> this is the evil tree. And she chopped it down. Of course, it turns out it's actually some sort of monster. And it poisons Kaylee. What a bad tree. Poor Kaylee. Luckily, though, she's going to help us fight him, even in her injured state. So we're going to fight a Minotaur. Should be fun. We got cool boss music. Unfortunately, I have no attack magic. This would be the perfect time for a fire spell or something. Anyway, let's get to it. There's really not a whole lot of options here. Critical hit. Good start, Blue. Good start. He lowered Kaylee's defense, but only did one damage, so I'm pretty happy with that round. I think we'll be fine. 20 damage without a critical hit and a miss. Not so useful. Come on, Blue. Get your act together. Mostly, we want Kaylee to not miss, and we'll be fine. Because she does twice our damage. Alright, now he's doing some damage to Kaylee, unfortunately. As we'll see, a lot of the time, Blue becomes the healer, <laughs> rather than the damage dealer. But, we'll see that as, ha as, as we go along. Uh, yeah, so her mom just walks up, no problem, and of course, on our first date, we managed to get her poisoned and nearly killed by a minotaur tree. So we'll have to go find some sand, we'll have to go find some elixir at the sand temple to rescue her. Don't worry, dude. We'll help out. And she gives us her axe, because she's an awesome girl. Thanks, girl. I'll be back. Yeah, pretty lame, I know. Anyway, with that, I'll wrap up the first episode. Uh, important thing to note, we now can do more damage. Uh, unless an enemy is weak to the sword rather than the axe, which is possible. Some enemies share different strengths and weaknesses. More importantly, though, we can actually chop down trees on our own now. So we don't have to ha let her do the chopping. So we can get around a little bit better. Um, there's probably some cure potions over there. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, I'll probably go back and heal up off camera. And then next episode, we will go forward. And I'll show you what that little thing is. Well, we'll see what this is next episode. <laughs> thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed. And have a great day.